is in determination of supply price of a good other things are constant other things constant if quantity of supply is increase goods and uh, commodity price will be increase why versa okay it is a one of the thing of the price of goods that is a one of the determination if more of supply will be increasing the simultaneously the price level will be increases why versa because it is relationship between the quantity of supply and the uh, what is the next one goods of at a price okay next one what is the price of a relative goods like a substitute substitute goods example i am saying that one coffee tea coffee and a tea two goods i am going to consider here what is the rule what is the law of demand if supply is increasing price also increasing okay i am going to talking about relative goods means substitute goods suppose coffee coffee will be coffee price will be increasing what is the alternative tea also increasing cup of tea cost is 10 rupees then before that one coffee cost tea is 8 rupees when substitute goods is increasing alternative is tea and automatic automatically coffee cost will be going to the 10 rupees so that is the thing that is a substitute goods next is price of factors of production price of factors of price of factors of production here already we know that productivity are factors the factors of production also main playing the role to supply the goods and services because without factors of production without factors of production like a land labor capital technology and organization both are belongings to factors of production the factors of production influenced by to supply the goods and the services and uh, it is results of the form to increasing supply and the uh, various goods and the next is state of technology state of technology technology also main playing the role nowadays and a manufacturer and everybody they can using technology because without technology we can't run the business and we can't making the product properly so technology it is also influence the supply the goods and uh, everything to help up the reach to commodity to help up the reach to the supply into the market okay next is government policies what is that government policies so government policies it is the one of the element main playing the role in supply so it is a taxes of the commodities it is a benefits of the government suppose we are going to introducing any commodity we making the taxes for example i am saying electronic goods suppose mi mobile is there the market is 
8,999 rupees. Including taxes is there. Actual mobile cost is, original cost is 4,000 only. Actual original cost is. But remaining 5,000, it is a transport and the taxes and the excise duties. Another example I am so saying that one, petrol. It is the actual price also. Now in marketing, when you are open the Amazon, just we can apply the 8,099, I mean 9,000 rupees. It is a nowadays update. So petrol cost is, the central government we are going to purchasing that absolutely 13 rupees per litre petrol. But we are going to taking that one nearly 70 rupees per litre. So here in this we have the mediators are there, state government, taxes, duties, everything. Whatever it is they are meeting the taxes, duties, that is called the government policy. They are getting the benefits. Example I am saying, if you want any soap, Dow soap or Santur, whatever it is, the total money, net money is 20 rupees, I am saying that one. They are maintaining the including all taxes. Please remind that one. Including all taxes, they are maintaining that one. We are paying taxes. That is called the benefits of the government. So last is other determinations. Other determination. So what are the other determination? The communications and the goals and the scientific things and the facts etc etc also influenced by the determination of the supply. Okay, now we are going to law of supply. So what is the law of supply? It is the mentioned that the law of supply explain this a function relationship of this commodity and a quantity of price two things main playing the role that is the thing is what is that supplied goods and a quantity of price okay so i have already told that one the relationship functional main playing the role that one what is that supply goods quantity price so what is that we can you show that one yes absolutely if supply is increasing what will happen in this price is we will be increasing vice versa if supply is decreasing price will be decreasing this is the law of supply so how can you prove it can you prove it that one for example it is possible to the sometimes climate situation fashion habituals all the things including in this the determinations also we will explain that one if supply is increasing price also increasing if supply is decreasing price also decreasing vice versa it is that one so this is the condition we can implement like a diagram like a schedule can prove that one yes absolutely we take take the for instance of small example that one so commodities relationship between commodity and uh, price two things main playing the role now in supply law of supply suppose demand is called remaining things are constant please remind remaining things constant we should not influence by the demand we should not involve in their demand when you are demanding the involving the formula is going to the plough it is not gives to the hundred percent realistics when you are not maintain and the influence of the demand demand that's what i'm saying Rem remaining or constant that's what i'm saying that one okay so these are the thing 